Well, look at you. Came to the 210 word per minute video. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Now, let's see. We are on uh, The Lion's Growl by John Triple Grave, Pittman Speed Building. This is going to be literary at 210 words per minute. And I know you came to write, so let's, you, let's get right to it. Let's go. Every government in the world knows that the person and the property of a British subject, wherever located, must be adequately protected against injury or wrong. Failure to accord this protection invariably results injuriously to the government through whose neglect or connivance the wrong may have been suffered. So inevitable is the punishment meted out to those concerned in doing violence to the rights of a British subject in the most remote and inaccessible parts of the world that the subjects or citizens of other foreign countries are, on that account, treated with a consideration often denied to the citizens of weak governments, even in their home countries. What is the result of this unbearing British policy? The immunity of her subjects from injury and wrong in all parts of the world. Great, Great Britain's reputation has been so thoroughly established in this regard that it is seldom that she is now called upon to demonstrate anew her adherence to the fixed and relentless principles upon which it is based. A Briton, wherever he may be, therefore has a conscious assurance at all times that a great compelling and irresistible force stands ever ready to protect his person and his property or exact the uttermost in punishment and reparation for the violation of either. While the same is true in a measure of other nations, it is equally true of none. Wherefore, a British subject is usually accorded to a fuller exercise of his rights than are the subjects or citizens of other countries. Countries more lax in the assertion of the inviolability of the person and the property of their citizens. And that is inviolability. If I screwed that up for you. So good luck. And hopefully I'll see you at the 2.20 and 2.30 video. If not, then I'll see you at the next video that I make. Have a wonderful day. And happy writing, everybody.